Hey guys, I thought it was a little weird and I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I'm actually looking on my Facebook page right now, but I am like, I was looking for something like, you know, how you're on Facebook, you just want to say hi, keep up with your friends. Well, I have like 2,000 friends that I don't actually know, but like, I used to network a lot and I used to promote music videos, so I have a lot of friends. Um, some people that are in the underground music industry or the unsigned industry and some people that are not. Well, one of these guys, I have no idea exactly when we became friends, but I'm definitely about to delete him. My man just, you know, I'm going to read you the conversation. He texted me or inboxed me, whatever you want to call it. He's like, what's good? I said, hello, how are you? Being nice. I'm too freaking nice. Um, he's just like, yeah, I'm good and mad. So I joke around and you know, the first thing came to my, ma my mind is like, why you mad, son? So that's what I typed into the little box. Why my man hit me back and say, cause the chick I'm with is a nut. I'm like, okay. Um, like, dude, I don't even know you or who you are. But in any event, so he says, because the um, chick I'm with is a nut. And I'm like, okay, well, what she do? I'm thinking he going to send me a response. Tell me, well, she done did this, that, and the third. My man says, ain't like a fucking nut. Excuse my French. And then has the nerve to say, oh, um, can I call you? Really? <laughs> like, what the hell is wrong with people? So... Please, people, be mindful of the people that you have on as your friends on Facebook. Because obviously, they say some really weird and crazy things. So I'm going to respond back to him. And I'm going to be like, um, no, we can talk on here. And let's see what he has to say. So I'm just going to go along with this. This is going to be really funny. I think things like this, this is amusing to me. It's very hilarious. Um, so I wrote down there. I said, um, I don't give my number out, but you're more than welcome to talk to me on here. I said, so what happened that has you so mad? So now we're like, waiting for a response. this is his way of trying to pick up girls on Facebook, like I just actually clicked on his um, profile page. And on his profile page, like it says, he's in a relationship with someone. And I mean, this man got pictures of him and this woman all over his Facebook page. So you just talk to a random chick to say, hey, guess what? My girl's getting on my nerves. Well, guess what? You say you're in a relationship with your girl. So it takes me but just one click, literally one click to go, hey, such and such, your, guy, your boyfriend or your husband or whoever he is to you, you're really getting on his nerves right now. And he feels the need to talk to a complete stranger about you guys' issues. So, so far, he still hasn't responded to me. Um, I'm down going to safely assume that that's what he was trying to do was get my phone number to talk to me. Ooh, guy, you're creepy. Yeah, if you can really feel the need that, oh, you're just going to talk to random girls on the internet, that is a scary thing. I know people do the whole internet dating and everything else, but if I'm not soliciting that I'm out there and I'm looking for an internet date, please do not solicit yourself to myself and be like, yeah, I'm looking, I'm trying to date you. You crazy nutbag, what's wrong with you? Uh-oh, wait a second, he's typing. And can you call me? OMG, I think I have a stalker. So, needless to say, this guy is getting the delete button because he is a little cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> I can't believe that he said, Can you call me? You know, I'm just going to pacify him a little bit more. <laughs> People is crazy. People are absolutely so crazy. So I said, oh no, I'm sorry. I don't call people and please don't take that the wrong way because if he is a psycho and God forbid he's actually stalking me, I don't want to piss him off too much. Not that I'm really concerned though because like all my family members are police officers and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be okay. And my brother, not to say that he's gun happy, but... But he's not going to let anything happen to his his older sister, you know, because I'm his sister. He's not going to let anything happen to me. Let's see what else. Do you not want to talk on here about your problems? And I was like, why do you feel the need for me to call you? No, and that's the way I'm, t I'm taking it. No, and that's the way I'm taking it. You can call me. Stop being scared. Whoa. My man just said, you can call me. Stop being scared. Why? Why do I have to call you? Now, he says it's still typing. Yeah. I'm about to put his name out there. Just so you guys could not be friends with him. Or at least check your friend page. And if you are friends with him, delete him. I am not calling this guy. Please can't delete him. 
and he's still typing. I told you guys already that I said I don't give my um number out, you know, but we're more than welcome to talk on here. I said, what happened that has you so mad? So, of course, he says, you know, can I call you? Or can you call me? And I said, oh, no, I'm sorry. I don't call people. Please don't take that the wrong way. Do you want to talk on here? And, you know, and I said, why do you feel the need for me to call you? He said, no, whatever. That's how I'm taking it. And, you know, call me and stop being scared. Um, and then he says, I don't want to just talk to you on here. And I was like, why do you want to talk off here? Because I'm tired of what I have. Is that a problem? I said, so you want me to be your new boo? And he is just like, no, I want you to be my friend. Now, if you want to be a boo, so be it. And laugh out loud, I said, "Low, LOL, you're funny. He said, um, he said, sure enough, so what you want to be? I said, we can talk on here and that's fine. But anything more is too much. Whoops. Anything more is too much. And I don't give my number out to random folks. He said, okay, sexy, I see. I'm like, oh, boy. So... I told him what I said, and as for your girl getting on your nerves, you may want to talk to Tracy about y'all problems. He said, okay, so I'm not worthy. And I said, laugh out loud. He was like, wait, do you know her? And I said, you want to talk to you want to talk about your relationship issues with a stranger. Um, he says, so where are you from? Okay, sexy. So where are you, dude? I said, sitting here wondering why you want me to call you. <laughs> and he was like, okay, bye, holla. This is that that's that's classical ignorance. Classical ignorance. I can't even call it anything else but classical ignorance. So needless to say, I am now click clicking the unfriend and I just removed him from my friend list. So yay, it says, and I'm actually gonna put his name out there. His name is Nate Edmonds. Yes, I said his name out loud. Nate Edmonds. Edmonds. And then Tracy, if you ever see this, and I'm not going to put your last name out there, um, but if you ever see this, your dude, when he gets mad at you, he talks about you to other women, random women on Facebook. Honey, you do not need to put up with it, and I'm pretty sure you can do better. You can do better than someone that respects you well enough to talk about whatever issues you guys have to keep your issues between you two. Because if you're a couple, you work out your issues together. You don't bring other people into your home. So, Tracy, definitely find yourself a new dude. And Nate, I need you to stop talking to random women about your problems. You never know when that'll come back and bite you on your ass.